Good morning children. Welcome all. Children, we all know that living things breathe. Living things need air to breathe. Breathing is a process of moving air into and out of our lungs to facilitate gaseous exchange. Breathing is very important to us because the breath is life. Without it, we wouldn't be alive. Children, do you know, on an average, we breathe 1700 to 2100 times a day. Like us, other animals also breathe. Different types of animals have different breathing organs. Children, today we are going to learn about organs for breathing in animals. Humans, birds, cow, cat and dog breathe through their lungs. During breathing, we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide. Gills are the breathing organ in fish. Fish breathe through the gills to get oxygen dissolved in water. Like fish, other animals breathe through gills. They are tadpole, prawns and crab. Insects like grasshopper, dragonfly, butterfly, cockroach and ant also breathe with the help of a series of tiny holes along the sides of their body. We call the holes as spiracles. Earthworm, leeches and snail breathe through their moist skin. Some animals have more than one breathing organs because they live on land and in water. Animals that live on land and in water are called amphibians. Examples are frog, salamander and newt breathe through their lungs when they are on land and breathe through their moist skin when they are in water. Children, I want to share you some interesting facts. Whales and dolphins, though they live in water, they breathe through the lungs. They swim onto the surface of the water to get air. Children, it's time to recall. Today we learnt about organs for breathing in animals. Humans, birds, cow, dog and cat breathe through the lungs. Gills is the breathing organ in fish. Insects breathe through a tiny holes called spiracles. And amphibians have more than one breathing organ. For example, frog, they breathe through the lungs when they are on land and breathe through the moist skin when they are in water. Now children, let's do an activity. Observe the different kinds of animals in your neighborhood. Make a list of them and identify the breathing organs in them. Children, I hope all are clear with today's concept. Please read this topic in your textbook. We will meet in next session. Take care. Thank you children.